hello guys welcome to my second video on C programming uh, here we are going to deal with the for loop okay. so let's get started so in C programming uh, for loop is uh, used in most of the programs so be sure with this one so initializing variables and declaring them Now the for loop has uh, three three stages uh, or uh, three conditions. First uh, is that uh, initial initial value. So we have to uh, tell the for loop where we have to start, where where you have to start. So we have we ha here we have specified zero. So the for loop will start looping from uh, zero, and here the test condition. So test condition uh, uh, here you just uh, remember that. Uh, start from zero and uh, loop up to the value specified here. Here a, I have given it as a because uh, I have a here uh, here I have given the value of a as five, so it will loop up to five. And this is the increment operator. So uh, for the first time when the loop has been executed, this increment operator will uh, increase the value of i uh, with a one. So print something on the screen so printf is the standard output uh, statement in C yeah. here you can see uh, five times the hello statement is printed so let me make a new line yeah. one two three four five five times the hello uh, is printed uh, so instead of writing a print of uh, this hello statement five times we are going to create a loop uh, and we are telling the loop to start from a zero and loop up to five times here I have specified a uh, as because the value of uh, a is five so um, yeah. uh, let's print out the value of i itself Here you can see that the loop started from zero, uh, from zero, and then looped up to five. So up to five is four. So zero, one, two, three, four has five. Uh, five times the loop is looped up. Uh, so we get uh, the value up to four. So um, this is a normal for loop. So there is an uh, another uh, type of loop, uh, another method of lo for loop, uh, which can do the same process in the reverse order. So let's do this. We should comment this out. Make a for loop. As like this one, we are going to uh, have uh, three conditions over here. Uh, here, i equal to a, and then i greater than equal to zero, i minus minus a uh, decrement operator. Uh, here, um, we are going to tell the for loop to start from the value of a. So here we specified zero, and the loop starts from uh, zero. Here we are going to specify the value uh, for the loop to start from a, which is five. So the loop starts from five, and then this is the condition which remains always true, as because the value of i uh, is uh, five, which means the i will never go um, less than zero. Okay, and then every time it loops, it will decrement the value by one. So for the first time when it is looped, the value of i will be decremented with 1, so which becomes 4. Uh, 
okay let me print this yeah here you can see the uh, reverse uh, reverse value of uh, the normal for loop so here the loop commences from a uh, 5 because we have given the conditions is like that and then this condition will remain always true and then every time it loops it will uh, minus the value of uh, 1 from uh, i so which causes to loop for 5 times 1 2 3 4 5 yeah yes Now, uh, now the loop uh, is has been looped for five times, and we get the result like like that. So um, this is the normal for loop. Uh, in my next video, I will show you how to have a nested for loops, and uh, this is the basic for loop. Uh, uh, in the upcoming tutorials, uh, we are mainly working with uh, nested for loops. Uh, so thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.